Hello friends, in this video we will be preparing the complex tetrachyspiridine silver 1 dichromate. According to a paper given in the links below, tetrachyspiridine silver dichromate is prepared and used for the oxidation of alcohols to corresponding carbonyl compounds. They say that the use of chromium trioxide or dichromate is limited as it's not suitable for complex and acid sensitive compounds. Anyway, we are preparing for the sake of making the orange colored powder. But yeah, maybe in future I'll try out the oxidation reaction. With that being said, let's move on to the preparation. Chemicals required are 1 gram of silver nitrate, 0.86 grams of potassium dichromate and 3 milliliters of pyridine. Start by fixing a 50 milliliter small round bottom flask on a magnetic stirrer with a steering bar inside. Using a funnel, 1 gram of silver nitrate was charged into the flask. Then 5 milliliters of water was added and stirring was turned on in order to dissolve the compound. Silver nitrate easily dissolves in water. Now 5 milliliters of water was added to a beaker containing 0.86 grams of potassium dichromate and a stirring bar. Stirring was turned on and the solid was dissolved in water. Now to the silver nitrate solution with stirring was added potassium dichromate solution. Immediately you see the formation of a deep red colored precipitate and this is the silver dichromate. Now 3 milliliters of pyridine was added and the solution was stirred for 20 minutes. You see the formation of an orange colored precipitate and this is our desired product. After 20 minutes, stirring was stopped and solution was vacuum filtered and the compound was collected in the Buchner funnel. The product was washed several times with dry benzene. The final product after drying was transferred onto a filter paper and it weighed 1.7 grams. Thank you so much for watching my video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. For all those Indian subscribers who would like to support me financially, they can mail me via my email address and I will provide them with my UPI ID.